Hey guys, today I'm going to be coming to you with my March favorites. Um, I don't have a ton of products this month. Um, I definitely wasn't trying out as many products as I feel like I normally are, just like buying on a normal basis. However, the ones that I do have, I am like in love with. So I am really excited to talk about them, but it's not going to be like a ton of products. And I feel like they're a little bit more like on like the random side. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you do. And let's just jump right on into it. So first thing I want to talk about, I'm actually almost completely out of this. It is the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Daily Balancing Moisturizer. It is paraben free and 98% natural, whatever that means. Um, I just really love this for like a daily moisturizer. I'm actually literally about to run out. I can feel that the bottle is almost empty. I've been using this for a while, but I just, I've never really talked about it. Um, I just think it's a really, really good daily moisturizer, especially when it comes to just putting it on before you put your makeup on. I hate using moisturizers that you put on your face and they take like 15 minutes to dry down or they have that oily feeling. This is such a perfect one for me to put on before my makeup because you put it on and within like 30 seconds, I feel like it's sunken into my skin. It's just a daily moisturizer. It's not too intense, it's not too oily. It's just a really good kind of like, you know, pre-makeup moisturizer. And I mean, if you wake up in the morning and you want something really light on your face too, it's really great for that. Um, it doesn't have like any weird scents or anything. Like I said, it's uh, paraben free and I feel like Yes to brand in itself is just more of like a kind of more natural style um, brand. So I really, really like this. And yeah, I just felt like it deserved a shout out because I've been using it for a long time and I just haven't really ever mentioned it on this channel. So I really, really love this as just a daily kind of moisturizer. Second thing I'm going to talk about is something that I used to use a lot, but in a different way. Um, I found this little travel size of Bare Minerals, their Mineral Veil Powder. Um, and I used to use this as a setting powder all over my face, and I really, really liked it for that purpose too. But for whatever reason, because this is kind of like the smaller sample version, I haven't been doing that. But what I have been doing is setting my under eyes with this. And this is such a beautiful under eye setting powder. It feels like silk under your eyes. I mean, I can use this with like really creamy consistencies. I can use it with thick ones. I can use it with thin ones. And regardless, it really just does feel like silk under my eyes. I mean, I just dashed a little bit under the eyes, um, kind of like pat it down. It does lighten just a tad bit. It's not a super lightening under eye setting powder, but however, it does just make your under eyes stay creaseless and look flawless. And like I said, like I can like, I'm not actually wearing it today. I wish it was. Um, if you like touch under your eyes, it literally just feels so soft. I feel like it just turns, it turns your skin into just like this, like luxurious feeling, you know, just very like hydrated and just good. It's just a really, really good under eye setting powder. And I never used to use it for, <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> um, I never used to use it for that purpose. I actually, like I said, just used to set my whole face and it is really beautiful to do that too, but I just have really been enjoying this for particularly under my um, under my eyes. I've just really been loving it. So um, if you use this as, it's, once again, the Bare Minerals uh, Mineral Veil, if you use this all over your face, try setting it with your under eyes and see how it goes because I really love this. The, ne the next product is something that I have re-fallen in love with. Um, this is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. This is obviously nothing new to YouTube. Um, obviously, everybody by at this point um, already knows about this product. But what I did want to just mention is that I bought this over two years ago and I kind of, I mean, if you can see how much I've used, like there's a decent amount gone, but I kind of just like forgot about it for like over a year. Like it has just been in my collection and I just like stopped picking it up. And the other day I wanted to try and kind of like do something different with my brows and I picked this product up again. I picked this product up and I dropped a little bit of oil into it and kind of just let it soak in. And it's almost turned into a like moussey consistency now. Like it's much less thick than it was when I first bought it. And I really like the way that this is applying now almost more than originally. The reason I kind of put it down was because I didn't love the way of like how cakey it kind of got on my brow sometimes. And for whatever reason, now that it sat around for two years and I dropped some oil in it, I just really, really, really love the consistency of this. And I've been loving the way that this has applied onto my brows. It is what I have on my brows today. And I just really love the color. I love the boldness of them, but I love how it looks more natural now that it's a little bit older for whatever reason before I felt like it looked a little Little too painted on so I just have really been loving this I kind of just picked it up and re fell in love with this product so I just felt like it was worth a mention because I've been using it a ton this past the next product is kind of something very similar I'm not gonna kind of speak about this too much because it's another one of those products it is the benefit Sunbeam um, I don't know what you would consider this, I guess just kind of like liquid highlight. I love this stuff so much, but I haven't used it in a long time. I bought it last summer and used it a bunch, um, but I just haven't really picked it up in a long time. 
I love this stuff for the summertime when I recently I just haven't wanted that like super bold in your face highlight like I've wanted something a little more natural a little more skin like and this is what I've been going to it just has become my go-to kind of um, like I said just natural highlight um, so what I do is I actually just take it out like this and just dip it on the back of my hand and then I take my beauty blender and pick up some product and just put it on the cheekbones and I just love this so so much I just feel like I mean obviously it's it's a holy grail product for so many people here on YouTube and for good reason because it just has the perfect golden undertone and it looks so great with the tan so I'm excited that I kind of started picking this up again because moving into summer I know this is just gonna be a go-to that I'm gonna be reaching for all the time in the warm months so love 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 this the last kind of makeup product I'm going to talk about is, I, w I can't find it anywhere, so this is my step in. Um, I bought one of the Milani um, Amore uh, Matte Lip Creams. Um, this is my metallic one that I already have a whole video about because I fell in love with this thing and I haven't been able to find just the normal non-metallic ones at my like any of my drugstores, but the other day I walked in and I saw them. So I got it in the shade... I got it in the shade Adorable. I just had to look it up because I can't find it anywhere. I've been using it a bunch in the past like two or three weeks. I've been using it a ton because it's such a good just nude lipstick from the drugstore. Mine was $7.99, $7.99 or $8.99, I can't remember. It's only a dollar difference, but it's below $10. It's just such a good drugstore liquid lip. I love, I, I just have this one because I can't find the other one right now. I don't know what happened to it. Like I just used it two days ago and I was going to look for it and I can't find it anywhere. Um, but I've been using it a ton because like I said, it's just a really, really great nude color. Um, it's not too pinky. It's not too brown. It's just a really good neutral and it just lasts all day. It smells like freaking buttercream. I love the smell of these things, um, and I just, yeah, I don't have anything bad to say about it. I'm just holding this as a stand-in, but if you see Adorable, um, the Milani um, Matte Liquid Lip, get it, because it's great. Now, a couple random beauty favorites I have. This is maybe my favorite thing I want to talk about this month. I only got this about a week ago, and I almost like wanted to film an entire video just to talk about this, which is going to sound stupid, but it is the, um, it's the Extra Rich Coconut Miracle Oil from OGX. I love this stuff so much. I wish this was just like a spray that I just like, like sprayed all over almost like a body mist. It smells like the most beachy, coconutty, pina colada-y smell I have ever witnessed in a bottle. This stuff smells so amazing. I can't even like, this is what vacation smells like to me. If there was a scent that I could bottle and like put out there and be like, this is what all of my vacations combined smell like, it is this scent and it smells so good. But more than that, I really just love what this product does. I hate lotions, to be honest, I'm not someone who moisturizes every single day like I should because I don't like the way that lotions feel on me. I feel like they stay sticky and I'm just not a huge fan of them. However, this is a body oil and when I saw this, I was like, why have I never used one of these before? I, I've never tried like a product like this. And I found myself being excited to get out of the shower and come out and like spread my whole body in this because it dries down to a just very kind of like satin finish on the skin. It is not goopy at all feeling. It leaves you smelling, like I said, like a tropical beach paradise. I just love this product so much. I'm so excited that I found this because my skin is really dry all the time and I just don't moisturize as much as I should because I hate putting on lotion so much. So if you're one of those people that hates lotion as much as I do, go out and try something like this. Even if it's not, I mean, I love this product, but even if it's not exactly this, go out and get yourself a body oil because it is like changing the game for the way that I'm moisturizing my skin. So I love this stuff so, 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 so much. All right, I own so many coconut things. I don't know if I've ever explained the fact of how much I actually love coconut. It's my favorite scent. It is one of my favorite foods. I love everything coconut. Um, so this is something else that is coconut, but this is the Coconut Oil Deep Repair Mask. Um, I don't know what brand this is by, actually. It doesn't even like, it doesn't, I don't think it even says one here. It doesn't which is really weird. It actually, it just looks like this. It says coconut oil deep repair mask. I got this at my um, Sally store. This was $12.99 for a giant tub. It's um, 12 ounces. This is supposed to be like a really, really moisture intense mask. It actually says on here to not use more than twice a week. Um, I only wash my hair every like couple of days. So for me, I've been using this every single day and I just feel like it's been saving my hair. My hair has just been so dry and so brittle through this winter. And I feel like using this every single time that I wash my hair, what I normally do is use like a normal conditioner that I kind of put all in my hair. And then I take just a little scoop of this and I just massage it really intensely into my ends. And sometimes I'll even put it on my whole head. And I just, I feel like this is making such a difference. I just, I don't know what it is about this stuff. I just feel like it's, 
just a really great product. I don't know, I don't have a ton to say other than it's really, really, really helping my hair and I'm very grateful to this because, like I said, my hair was, the struggle was real with my hair and it was just getting very brittle and I just feel like this is making a world of difference for it. So I'm very, very grateful for this and once again, this smells much more coconutty than the than the actual um, body um, oil does. One of my favorite parts of this is look how thick it is. This is how you know that a hair mask is real when it is almost like a mayonnaise consistency because when you put it in your hair it is super thick and super hydrating and that's part of why I love this so much. But I just feel like it's making such a big difference for my hair. So I really like this and I really recommend it. All right, and the last thing I wanna talk about is such a freaking throwback. Um, I, this is dirty, which is gross. I just want to speak about my Revlon crimper. This was, I feel like, all the rage, like, I don't know, like four or five years ago, and then I feel like it disappeared and no one uses them anymore, and I've had mine for almost six years, which is crazy. No, over six years. It's been almost seven years because I used it a ton when I was a sophomore going into my um, junior year of high school. I used to do this every single day. I would crimp my hair every single day. It would take me like 30 minutes. And I kind of just forgot about it. I put it down and I stopped using it for a really long time. And the other day I just picked it up again and I've been using it a ton and I really, really love it. I just feel like with the whole kind of like 90s theme kind of coming back a little bit, I just feel like this is the perfect uh, like accessory almost to the styles that are out right now. And yeah, mine was, this was only $20. Like I said, I got this like seven years ago, but you can also get these now, obviously. Like there's a ton of different brands that make these. Um, but I just really love how it looks. And I just love how like this throwback it is. Like every time I'm doing my hair with this, like, like I said, it reminds me of high school because I used to use it like every single day. So I've just really been loving this. And I feel like it's a great kind of like different look because not everyone's doing it right now. So this is something that I've really just been enjoying doing in the month of March. All right, that is all you guys. Those are all the products that I've really been loving in the month of March. Like I said, it wasn't a ton of new ones and it was a lot of kind of like almost like ones that I've rediscovered from like past loves. But anyway, I did just want to share them because I have been loving them a lot and I'm very passionate about the ones that I spoke about. So anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.